How to Fulfill Orders on Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can fulfill your orders on Shopify. Now, fulfillment is something that is going to look different for different people. If you are a dropshipper, fulfillment for you is going to include different steps. Whereas if you are someone that is sending out orders by themselves that has their product within a warehouse, your fulfillment center will look a bit different. So let's get started with order fulfillment on Shopify. To access your orders, click on orders on the left panel on your Shopify dashboard. Now over here, any order that is placed on your Shopify store will be added. But one thing to note is that if you get orders from elsewhere, such as Instagram and people DM for orders as well, but you want to make your warehousing a bit more simple, you can click on create order over here and build their order over here. This allows you to ensure that your inventory and your stock keeping remains very synced. Now to fulfill any order first, you can click on the order over here. Once you do that, you will see the current payment status as well as fulfillment status. On the right, you will also see any type of notes for the customer as well as the customer info. This includes their last name. It includes any of the previous orders that they have placed with your company. Then it includes their email address, phone number, shipping address, and billing address. You will see the product that they have ordered and the payment. If the payment has already been made, this will be marked as paid. Now, you have two options. If you do delivery and you do cash on delivery, you can fulfill the item before receiving payment. However, certain people don't send out orders until they receive payments. So you can click on send invoice and send that customer an invoice. Usually, people only include payment options that are valid for their store. So if you don't accept cash on delivery, don't add that option onto your store. Now, once you have completed or once the order has been placed, you're going to click on print on the top right and you can click on print packing slips. Once you do that, Shopify will generate a packing slip for you. You will see the option of ship to, bill to, as well as the quantity of the item. And you can just print this out and then paste this on the package. Once you have pasted this on the package, you're going to click on fulfill item. Once you click on fulfill item, you're going to add the tracking number that the shipping carrier is going to provide to you. Once you add that tracking number here, you're just going to select the shipping carrier and you can click on the option to notify the customer that you have fulfilled their order. Click on fulfill item and just like that, your order is now fulfilled. You can click on add tracking if you offer tracking and add the tracking number of that order on to this particular section. This allows the customer to see where their order has reached and how they can track it and when they will receive their order. And just like that, your orders will be marked as fulfilled on your Shopify store. Usually when an order is fulfilled, after that, you basically have no responsibility of that order. Then the shipping company just has to uh, get the order to the customer and that is it. However, if you are doing cash on delivery, then your order system is going to look a bit different, which means that the courier or the shipping delivery service has to pay you when they receive payment. So then your fulfillment status is going to be fulfilled, but the payment status is going to remain unpaid until the customer gives the payment to the delivery driver. Then from the delivery driver, the delivery company will give you the money. Now, one other thing to note is that on your order section on the top left, you have a menu bar. This allows you to filter out orders with a specific category. So if you're looking to just see unfulfilled orders or unpaid orders or open or archived orders, you can view all of those from here. 
Now, if you are looking to practice order fulfillment, you want to check how to fulfill orders, you can set up a bogus checkout. To do this, just go into settings on the bottom left. Then you are going to go into payments on the left. Click on choose a provider. Once you click on choose a provider, you're going to select bogus getaway. This is specifically built for testing. Now, when you're setting this up, you have three options. You can simulate an approved transaction, declined transaction, or a gateway failure. So this allows you to make sure that you're able to know what is meant to be done, how. Now, after that, you're just going to click on activate. And once you do that, you can set up your order and then select fulfillment options. So now I'll show you guys how you can add a, you know, order by yourself. I will add a bunch of items onto my Shopify store. So I will add this eyeshadow as well. Then I'm going to click on view cart. Once I click on view cart, I'm going to click on checkout. Once I click on checkout, I'm just going to fulfill all the order info. You don't have to necessarily fill in actual information. Just fill out the mandatory fields like so. Then you're going to go into the credit card option. To simulate a approved transaction, you're going to add the card number as one and add any type of valid date for the expiry of the card. Then you're going to add the security code and then click on pay now. And we're just going to click on pay now over here. Once we click on pay now, our order has now been processed. Now, if you go into your Shopify dashboard, you're going to see a new order is going to be placed. You guys can see this is the order. The payment status by default is marked as paid. You can simply click on fulfillment over here and then click on fulfill orders. Then just click on the tracking number and add that. Click on print packing slip, print that and add that on to the parcel that you are sending out. Now, another really amazing thing that you can do with Shopify is that instead of having to manually fulfill orders every time, you can set up auto fulfillment. Obviously, you're going to have to print out the packing slips and send out the orders, but you can mark them as fulfilled right then and there. You can click on settings and you will see on the left you have your checkout. In your checkout, you have your store configuration, contact info, customer info, marketing options, tipping options, and you have other checkout rules and order status pages. So you can go on ahead and turn on the option available for shipping and delivery. And in your shipping and delivery, you can set up delivery. And if you have pickup, you can set that up as well and create various ways for orders to be created onto your Shopify store. And this is how simply and easy you can create orders and fulfill them on your Shopify store for your customers. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you're looking to validate an order, so if you have an order and something seems off to you, you can always go on to the right side of your screen and you have fraud analysis, which allows you to know whether an order is a fraud or not. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.